Frozen is the brand new film uh, from Walt Disney Animation Studios. It was just released this week and in Ireland. Um, it is uh, a retelling of the old Hans Christian Andersen uh, tale, The Snow Queen, or rather it's an adaptation of that. Um, I hadn't heard an awful lot about the film before it came out because it hasn't been that widely marketed over here in Ireland. When I did hear about it, I heard it was from the makers of Tangled. I had to see it. Tangled is one of my favourite films of the last couple of years. It's just a joyous adventure which I just absolutely love, which I would recommend to anyone to see. Back to the main story here with Frozen. Frozen takes us to the uh, fictional city of Arendelle and we have two princesses. We have uh, Princess Elsa and we have Princess Anna. And they are two children, uh, 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 their mother and father are the king and queen of Arendelle. Um, and as children they have a very close bond together but uh, because of a, a magical accident which takes place um, the children are, uh, I suppose, kind of, they, they drift apart over the years. One of the children, Princess Elsa, has this gift whereby she can create um, she can create things out of ice and out of snow and she can manipulate the elements to, to create ice and snow and, you know, different things like that. But there's a little bit of an accident and um, she inadvertently hurts Anna. The two girls are sort of, they're not locked away, but they're kind of sequestered away from the rest of the kingdom to make sure that they don't hurt anybody. And as such, they kind of grow apart over years. Now, uh, as the years go by, they grow up to be sort of uh, teenage girls. Princess Elsa is next in line to the throne and uh, there's a coronation going to happen. So, uh, the long, long and short of it, I'm not going to spoil the story, but the long and the short is that an accident takes place. Princess Elsa flees. And who's going to go after her? Well, it's going to have to be Princess Anna. So the story starts off pretty much it's Princess Anna and uh, we're looking at her and what she wants, etc. But the, the film generally develops then into a story about the bond between two sisters and a story of kind of family and, you know, things which you're searching for. And maybe what you're looking for isn't exactly the thing, you know, that you need. But um, this is played out in, in the course of the film. Now, the... Um, I suppose kind of, the film itself looks amazing. It looks incredible. It's very much, you'd know that it was uh, done by the same people who made Tangled. Um, it looks really, really well. I know that they took a lot of the backdrops uh, from Scandinavia, from Norway and stuff like that. And they did like lots of testing on, you know, the interplay of light on snow and ice and things like that. And it looks really, really good. It's quite epic in scale and it looks really, really beautiful. The, uh, the characters are also drawn quite beautifully and there's a lot of facial uh, similarities between the characters and their, I suppose, voice cast uh, counterparts. That leads me on to one of the strong things about this. Now, this movie is a musical. Um, start to finish, I mean, with a lot of the Disney films, it's, it's old school Disney, uh, so you go back to even Tangley, you go back to Little Mermaid, Lion King, this is a musical, and you can completely see how this is going to play on Broadway or the West End or wherever. I mean, th it would be a sin not to, because the music in this is incredible. Uh, it was a husband and wife um, team, I think their name is Lopez, I'm not 100% sure, I'll check that out, but the songwriting is incredible. Uh, in particular, um, I suppose kind of I'm going to just talk a little bit about the voice casting um, in relation to the songs. Now Kristen Bell plays Princess Anna and she's, she's wonderful, uh, she has um, a, a couple of songs in there which are great, but Idina Menzel plays Princess Elsa and her voice and it's it's phenomenal. I mean, it's so good. It's she's so good. Um, I first became aware of Adina Menzel a couple of years ago. Uh, she was the person who originally played Elphaba in the uh, Broadway uh, first run of Wicked, and um, she her voice is. I mean, it's she her voice is amazing. I mean, she really, she's a very beautiful woman. Her voice is incredible, and in particular, there's one song in this um, called "Let It Go." and she sings it and I mean her range is just astounding um, and I suppose kind of you know it's it sort of the, the, the song Let It Go kind of shows um, her uh, I suppose letting go her past and sort of embracing who she is and not being afraid of who she is anymore and it's very beautifully done and her character kind of changes in terms of costume etc and it's really weird but she's a very attractive cartoon and we can have the whole Jessica Rabbit kind of um, uh, a debate which I'm not getting into because it's way too early and you know I'm sure I have plenty of comments down below about this but um, anyway let's just say she looks really really well and then Dina Menzel in real life is really beautiful too um, so definitely a high point is the voice casting in relation to this another high point with this is the comedy um, in particular you've got uh, Christoph uh, who's a guy who he um, what does he do? He, he essentially buys and sells ice, essentially. And with the kingdom now covered in ice uh, because of the, the accident which Princess Elsa was involved in, 
um, he now basically has, hasn't much of a job because, you know, ice is freely available. Um, but he has a reindeer called Sven and there's definitely sort of a, a buddy comedy kind of thing happening there. Looks really good. Anybody I've talked since seeing Frozen absolutely wants like a reindeer after this because it's just, it's really beautifully done. Uh, but the main comedy aspects of the film come from uh, Olaf. And Olaf is a snowman who's been created by Princess Elsa. He's sentient, he's come to life and he's voiced by Josh Gad. Now, don't know an awful lot about Josh Gad, but I do did check him out, and I do remember seeing him in an episode of New Girl. He played Bear Claw. Don't know, if, don't know, don't know has anybody seen that? But um, he's a really, really funny guy. He actually has an excellent voice. There's a song in there where he's being a snowman. He's never seen the sun, and he's wondering what it'd be like, you know, to be in the sunshine and stuff like that. It's really, really, uh, really good moment. Uh, so the comedy is very good. Uh, you have the villains. There's a bit of a twist in there as well. There's, you know, princess looking for a prince, all that kind of thing. But in saying that, and a lot of people have always had this with Disney, the whole princess looking for a prince thing. This is flipped on its head. I won't tell I won't tell you any more in relation that you have to go and see the film in order to get the twist. But it's really, really well done. It's really, uh, it looks really, really good. And it gives a good message to, to I think, uh, in particular uh, girls, but kids in general. Um, so yeah, the film itself is a musical. Uh, that won't be to everybody's taste, um, but it is certainly to mine. I do like musicals. Um, I can't wait to see this on Broadway or, or on the West End or wherever it happens to be because I'd say ultimately it will. The songs are that strong that it's bound to end up, you know, in the stage version. Uh, as I said, not to reiterate it too much or to repeat it too much, but the voice casting here is incredible. Uh, I loved Frozen, you know, I will go back and see it again. I will be first in line to get the Blu-ray when it comes out. It looks fantastic, it sounds fantastic. Um, it completely subverted all of my expectations because as I said it wasn't marketed too well over here in Ireland so it just came out and um, I suppose as, a, as a, a prelude to Christmas it's totally gotten me in the Christmas spirit can't wait now to see it again uh, I'd urge you to check it out it's a great great film sounds fantastic and uh, I'm going to stop gushing about it now because I think I probably will uh, might have some time to go and check it out again